Hey everybody, sorry for the delay. We were, we were, I was, oh no. Oh no. Three, two, one, three. Okay, there's three. Whew. Um, sorry, I'm just trying a slightly different setup today and it just slows me down. Sorry. Messing this up. Okay. I'm just going to drop the link in for today. So uh, I guess a little bit about today is I, I uh, reached out and asked, said, hey, give me some ideas. And the one thing that kept coming back, um, actually a few people reached out about was doing sort of my concert warm up. And that's what I'm going to do today. So, so today's actually going to be a little bit shorter than usual just because my concert warm-up isn't as long as my other warm-ups so yeah that that's what we're gonna do I'm just gonna get my drum set up here and I also need to get a dice roller a d12 so um, when I go to a concert or rehearsal or anything generally I've, I've always tried to play a whole bunch that day or some but what we're gonna do is that morning, and it's gonna start the same way it always does. Um, we're gonna start with a bunch of buzzing. So I'm gonna, I wanna start with the same one we always do. If you've never done this one before, we'll go through it. We're just gonna free buzz and free, uh, and free. I'll do some structured breathing, so let's just go like in for four and then buzz. So one, two, three, four, breathe in, two, I'll do it again, and in, so remembering we're doing this right now just to wake up the corners, that, that mm shape that we always talk about, so start with that again one more time just that mm. and, and when you do this you really want to focus on taking an even breath and trying to hear the pitch for all four beats since we're breaking up right here so let's add the octaves now we got the corners add the chin one two breathe in And we'll do two and two. One more time. Breathe in for four. And. If you have a breathing tube, now's a great time to grab it. ridiculous breathing tube um, if you don't have a breathing tube roll of toilet paper I know those are like gold now but again you want the breathing tube to sort of be the dimension the width of two fingers between the teeth so breathe in through this and we'll buzz that back so breathe in Breathing in. You can use a breathing tube. I'm buzzed me. Um, all right, that stays on there. Maybe not. Yep, it's going to stay there. Okay, so now we're going to add the pedal. So remember that's corners, chin, jaw. So we're just waking up all of the muscles in here. So let's breathe. And we'll go. About that back. So we're gonna breathe in for four though at this new tempo. And something like that. Do it one more time. Uh, just take a breathing through your tube. Get rid of the timing. Um, so breathe in. I 
always have a breathing tube with me. It's just in my horn case. It's a small one. It's not this thing. Um, yeah, so one more time. Yeah, corners, shins, jaw. And try to fill in the glyph. And now we'll go down and come back up. There it is. And think about accelerating the air as you come back up. And now let's do our ba da dee da dum. So remember, now we're going corners and using the ascent. Let's add one more now. And do that one more time. Cool. So we're going to stop with that because that's, you know, we're thinking about our breath. We're thinking about the buzz. You're using a little bit to get the muscles going. Maybe take a stretch or a flap out. And onto the horn. So a lot of this is going to look familiar. Um, I usually don't do it with a metronome. I usually do it very just sort of free flowing at my own pace. Except scale. So you get that. So here's our, our six note exercise. Um, ATT, air attack, tongue, tongue. A and as we go through this, just, just feel free. Like feel free in real time to switch back and forth between buzzing, free buzzing, on the horn. If you have a burp, go to the burp. So let's just start. Uh, four beat down. So one, two, three. Sorry, this is peaking bad. Let me turn that down. Now that metronome should be less offensive. Sorry, try one more time. And one, two, I'm just looking at your screen. Okay, the horn. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't found a way to, to deal with being left and right channeled because I'm doing two mics, but for right now it's just left and right channeled because I can't switch it to stereo without doing some stuff. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Um, before we do it, though, we're going to do a little bit of, of lead pipe buzzing. I think we did this many moons ago. Um, so set your lead pipe up that way, like this, to the side, uh, there we go, perfect, and we're just going to buzz um, the second harmonic, second harmonic of the lead pipe, which means second harmonic of the lead pipe, um, if 
it's a low riff. It's that pitch. It should be a pitch that your B type length is going to change what harmonic series you're built on, but we want to play that one, and we want to land on the note, and then we want to start to accelerate the air. Um, and don't think of it like a crescendo. Think about going from whatever your pat your like default air speed is to increasing the speed or making the air colder, whichever way you you were going. So we're gonna do three or four of those things. <laughs> think about the corners and holding that again for a second. Corners and chin. And now we rebuild the horn and we're just going to play the six note exercise again. Here we go. Four beat counter. One, two, three. <laughs> If this was real life, sort of is real life, um, and let's say I'd had a rehearsal in the morning, I would probably be okay with just doing that, that much, right? I, I'd focus on moving my air, warming up the chops, putting the lip, the tongue, and the buzz together, and again, the Omai philosophy of the brass playing is everything goes in a straight line. We just worked on that. Everything else is just expanding that idea. So now, let's say we're in good playing shape, we're playing a lot. And it's a really hard show um, with really tricky music. We might skip B and C and go straight to going through the pieces backwards. I always have a highlight reel of probably 8 to 12 sections I need to look at for a show or a rehearsal, right? And this would be that spot where if things are feeling good, then I'm going to go, okay, let's jump in and, and start working back. I always go backwards because I want to finish with what I have to play first, right? So back to the front, hit the trouble spots, and then I'm ready to go. Um, walk off stage, go get a drink of water or something, wash my hands. But we're going to assume either we got to the hall really early, which I always do because I commute, or we're <coughs> we just have more time, and we're going to keep going. Um, this is mainly what I'll do for like symphony stuff. Time point shows, I'm generally running around like a crazy person, and I uh, will be lucky to get what we just did done. Um, y you know, I, I'm sort of of the philosophy, you got to be able to pick it up and see it. Nah, that's just, that's how it is. Um, but we're going to keep going. So this is why I have a D12 roller. Um, we're actually, if we're going to start, because we're merciful, we'll start with C major. take a nice leisurely tempo um, and I advise against using subdivided metronomes at slow tempos like this because you want to do the division yourself and it'll improve your rhythm if you're going sub 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 if you're doing it put in the division yourself so anyway so divide before action let's do C major slurred or tongues your choice up one octave down two up one
one is a C major, and we can chromatically go roll six. So fifth is C. Uh, F, right? C, C sharp, E, B flat, E. C, C sharp, E, B flat, E, F. So yeah, F major. So here we go. Up one octave, down two. Pick whatever octave you want. One, two, three. <laughs> down two up one because it makes us go up and down over our break a heck of a lot more and let's roll the dice uh we got a three on the d20 the d12 so that's gonna be a d you can make this horrible on yourself as well and roll i'm just gonna um roll any dice and then do like odd major even to minor we're not doing that today we're just gonna play a d major today uh, one This is the, the three again. Skip that. This is more for my brain than anything else. We got a nine, so A flat major. Here we go. And back to the normal pattern. so it's hard to stop. I'm not actually joking. I truly think that. Ooh, B major. Wait. I can't, I can't count semitones. Roll that again. There you go, that one. 
Ooh, a sharp major. F sharp major. Mm. Or G flat major, if you don't like the sharp keys, right? Okay, F sharp or G flat. Now do it tongue or slurred? Which way? Two, two, slurred. These are the air it out exercises, as they're often called. Um, we'll do them in two octaves. Give me a second to fix. Uh, that's a good tempo. Okay, here we go. Air it out. Uh, we'll start on C open, and we'll work our way down. Um, double bar line stop. Sorry, I did do a double. C sharp. Add down. <laughs> too much it is the same thing for like when you're doing auditions right so just to hammer through in the room so by um by forcing yourself to like go eat your twitter feed and, and see what wonderful things humans are doing you, you slow yourself down a little bit that's what we're doing what's happening on twitter today calgary oh a dumpster fire oh you don't say huh it's a dumpster fire outside So now we'll continue. Same exercise up the octave. Here we go. Check the water. Check the mic. Check the stuff inside it. Okay. Uh, here we go. So up the octave.
we'll see how I feel. Um, just because I do need to, I acknowledge I do need to reach in that range and warm up. So we're going to start on F open again and then go up B flat and learn and stop when it stops working well. So here we go, starting on PC. And uh, par, two. <laughs> jump into the last one um you know the basic prerequisites so i like these ones they're just like it's just air it out right just it's blowing air um and moving through the horn we're gonna do them two times one time i'm gonna do them at like tempo delerto we'll call it to be be la da la di la di la somewhere around that and then we'll do it at my usable tempo. Um, yeah, so let's 60 first. So here we go. Here's 60. And starting F open. Do I have the metronome up? I do. Here we go. And one, two, three. <laughs> Usually we'd be done. We're gonna do this at my tempo, but I, I'm gonna do it at my tempo. Um, and without the blathering and technical difficulties at the beginning, usually I get this done in about 20 minutes, give or take. And then that gives me 10 minutes to go over whatever we're about to look at or rehearse or perform, and then 10 or 15 minutes to wander off and you know sit, stare at my feet as I walk around the hall, get off stage get out of the rehearsal hall, talk to people, whatever. Okay, so here it is coming at you um, around my normal tempo. And I think I have the metronome on. I am better at this. Here we go. And one, two, three. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
go in. I'm gonna do a couple riffs on my A flat. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple riffs on the, the A flat, the the two two three harmonic, um, and we we up the tempo because it's gonna encourage us to use more air, um, just to get the high range set. And I'm just new to the A flat. I don't need to go past it. Um, I just need to sort of set my high range air and wake these up because they're not waking up today. Here we go. Couple reps. We're just sorry. When I said loop, I, I didn't mean like stop and do the exercise again. I meant literally just loop it, like what I just did. Here we go, a little quicker still. And uh, one, two, one, two. <laughs> This is where, uh, we know, where are we live-wise? Yeah, that was... How long did this take? Hang on. Oh, music. You know, we're at 30 minutes. 30 minutes, give or take. Yeah, so now, uh, you know, spend five or ten minutes going over your trouble spots. Um, or parts you're worried about. Make sure they're in your ear. And then wander off. So yeah, usually it takes 20 minutes, 10 minutes to go over stuff, and I'm done. That's that's sort of my, my concert warm-up, the best I can recreate it. Um, it the sometimes I start with the, the air it out, uh, the first line of C, this stuff here. Um, sometimes I start with this. When I do this kind of work, I like to actually do it up against a wall so I, I can hear the sound of my tongue. If that makes sense, like I can actually get that immediate feedback response from the wall hitting me. Um, so yeah, that that's where we're gonna stop it today. Th this, you know, this was a pr it was a, a pretty good request about like what's a basic concert warm up, um, and and really a concert warm up I think deals with a couple things or any like warm up. That's not a morning session. Um, it's getting the muscle going. Really, it, it's the first two things, right? It's it's getting the air, the muscles, and the horn working with the tongue, which is why I said, you know, I if I only have a couple minutes, I'm doing exercise A with some buzzing, and then I'm ready to go. Uh, B and C lets me kind of build awareness. Like, I figured out today, hey, my high range isn't working as well. Who could ever really figure, right? If you've been here before, you know that about me. Um, so that let me adjust how I did C a little bit, increase the tempos to focus on getting the air into that high range. And now it's like, all right, it's going to happen. So you go through the thing, and you're like, all right, um, there we do some music with things. <laughs> Please don't ever play it like that. That was terrible. Yeah, so that's that's my my concert warm up. So I'm gonna leave it there, and I'm gonna just practice. I don't know. Nothing. Just improvise. I no concerts coming up anymore, so um, I actually might just work on like fluttering. So I'll take, um, well, there are the etudes in my flutter tonguing book, but I've done those ones a lot because I wrote them. Um, I'll just take like a song, you know, we could do, you know, this is what I was working on yesterday. You know, we could jump into some arbit characteristic study. Um, so how I'll do this in practice, I'll, I'll just demo it now. Um, body, what's that? Is we'll do three measures. Um. And then we'll go back. So, so the warm up's done now. Like, so what this would be is like me grinding out and not being great at horn. So you know, we set our metronome. Wa -ba -ba. Hey, there we go. Um, and those are the last three measures. <laughs> incredible the arbin's characteristic studies i actually haven't done this one number nine i this is 
for my first time working on that. I started yesterday with a crack team. Keep it real. Um, so I'm going to do this on stream for like five minutes or so. And then I'm going to turn off the stream because nobody needs to hear me hacking my way through an Arbit game. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
get to everybody too this year. All right, so I'm gonna end the stream there because now it's just me hammering our rigs, and I'm gonna keep hammering our rigs. <laughs> Played these; these are fun. Characteristic studies. They are. They they make Toprash seem quite simple. <laughs> Ha 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 